See, I'm going to have to do a quick little holdover episode, and I'm going to give you another one tomorrow, I promise you. So, the one I'm going to give you tomorrow is going to address um, the VP pick. It's going to address, you know, a few things. Um, and it's going to be much longer than this one. But I wanted to give y'all something so when you wake up on Thursday, you got something. But understand that you're also going to get something later on Thursday night as well. I'm going to record and release immediately tomorrow. Um, so with that being said, I wanted to talk about something. I wanted to talk about the mother-son dynamic. The mother-son dynamic. Um, hold on. My bad, my bad, my bad. Had a little quick situation. I had to go take care of but um, nonetheless, I want to talk about the mother-son dynamic because I notice that a lot of people don't have a firm grasp um, I need y'all to have a firm grasp on the the optics of it, the psychological breakdown of it I, I'm gonna get I'm, I'm able to just digest this into a, a very very concise podcast episode and I wanted to really get this one out first before I went into this other stuff because it's about to get hectic and then I'm also I want to start doing like um multiple subjects I want to do multiple subjects um I, I told you I want to introduce the PPM proper pussy proper penis management um segment as well that may be its own short episode um kind of like how I'm doing this one um and then I do the long version one as well because I think it's important to do both sides. People just think everything's all about politics, 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 politics. No, you need healthy relationships as well. And I understand that healthy relationships you need to have proper PPM. I mean, you have PPM, which is proper P, proper pussy, proper penis management. Anyway, with that being said, um, the mother son dynamic is a very, very, very unique dynamic. And when I speak of this mother son dynamic, I am speaking of a single mother and a son who is typically the only son or the firstborn son. It's typically the only son, the firstborn son, and in rare cir- circumstances, it's that it's the last child son, which is typically, a, which is, uh, I'm sorry, not which is, which is the baby son. So say if they have like a, um, which a great, a crazy age gap. So say if there's like a 10 to 15 year age gap between, the oldest child and the youngest child, um, but say there's like three, three, three kids total or four kids total, and the first three have like at least um, a ten year or more age gap on that baby. Um, this is where you'll see that dynamic as well. So this is a single mother um, with a uh, a son um, who essentially what she tries to do is mold this young boy to be the man of the house while also being subjected to her rule. So it's basically a matriarchal thing. Um, We have a society in the black community where it's very matriarchal, meaning that the women run the households in a lot of communities. I mean, a lot of households, the women runs the house, um, whether it be because there's, she's a single person, she's a single mother, or she's with a a man who has the Oedipus complex, or she's with a man who um, she out earns or she take care of something of that nature um a lot of times this is what creates this kind of thing so typically so typically what happens is she tries to mold her son to be not only the man she want him to be but also the lover without being the lover so this does not mean that the mother is in love with the son this does not mean that the mother is having any inappropriate sexual activity with the son this doesn't mean the mother has any type of inappropriate um, activity with the son whatsoever a lot of times what it is is um, she she kinds of put these expectations and forces this young child to grow up faster than he needs to in order to satisfy her emotional need this mother has an emotional need she wants to dress up in cute outfits together matching outfits a lot of times she'll put that on that son and she'll go take pictures with that son and say my little king you know that's a lot of the language you'll see when you come when it comes to these relationships is my little king because what she's saying is i can't find a legitimate king that i find suitable so i'm going to make my son a little king because i'm and she trying using under the guise of i'm raising a king this that and the third i'm sorry women 
can't raise kings. That has to come from a father. And at the end of the day, it's women who have done a phenomenal job raising young boys. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here to pander, but I'm not here to lie either. Um, there's women who there are women who have done a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal job. Um, and you know, that's where we need to we need to give them their credit for that. You see what I'm saying? We do need to give them their credit for that. I'm not gonna take that away from them. I'll never take that away from them. We also need to understand what's going on out here, see, because a lot of people like to play stupid, a lot of people like to play crazy, this, that, and the third, and that's not what we're gonna allow. Uh, this mother-son dynamic is a problem because what it does is because this mother usually does this out of bitterness or resentment or whatever the case may be, she is raising a very, 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 very toxic child. Um, this is usually a kid who does not hold any accountability for himself. This is usually a kid who has a lot of excuses. This is usually a kid who sleeps around with multiple women, never stays with them, never builds a family dynamic because he's so used to his mother allowing him to live in a situ live under a um, live in her under her roof without any responsibilities, any there's nothing that invo this kid usually grows up to be, I guess you would call it spoiled rotten. But it's worse than that. It's ve it's way worse than that. He grows up with the sense of entitlement that women are supposed to treat him the way his mother did. And it mixes a mother's love with a mother's bitter resentment because she wasn't able to get a man to be everything she wanted that man to be. So this is the type of stuff she teaches her son. But at the same time, she's his mother. So he's getting those. This is the type of woman I want in my life vibes. The problem is. He's not learning how to be receptive of that. And he's also not learning to be reciprocal of that. So because you're telling him you deserve all of this love, you deserve all of this, you deserve this, you deserve everything. I'm going to give you the world. I'm going to do everything for you. You deserve this, 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 and this. And in return, you don't have to do anything. Your son now goes out into this world, in this dating world, to go find a woman that's going to repeat that. Your son is going to go out into this world and find a woman to repeat that, to say, hey, I want everything without giving anything. And if you got a problem with it, then I'll go live with my mom. That's where these, it, and these aren't mama's boys. Mama's boys aren't like this. These are those guys that y'all think are alpha males. These are those guys that um, usually are well-dressed, well-groomed. Um, these are those guys who come off as well-mannered um, a lot of times. These are these guys who know how to say the right things to make you feel good, this, that, and the third. But when it comes down to culpability, responsibility, um, accountability, they don't have any of that. They're lip service. It's nothing but lip service. Nothing but lip service. Sometimes these dudes uh, make a little money. They be up and down. It's very inconsistent financial situations as well because their mother has told them, you don't have to be a provider. You don't have to be a protector. I will protect you. So a lot of times these, these dudes will whoop your ass. They'll whoop your ass. And you think because you see them around a mom and you'll be like, oh, look how he treat his mom. He treat his mom like a queen. So if he treats his mom that way, I know he going to treat me good. And then he whooping your ass. You're like, God damn, I done saw you, you know, uh, lay down so your mom can step on your back and walk over a puddle. But you out here whooping my ass because I looked at a guy twice because look, I like the shoes he had on. You see what I'm saying? So that's where that's where you get a situation of a man child, you know what I mean? He's presenting himself as a man, but once you start peeling back those layers, you notice this is truly a child in the inside, and this guy can do nothing for you. And by that time, you usually already um, done had a baby or two by him, or you done at least had one baby by him, and then you get in this mentality, I don't want to have multiple baby dads, so you rather let um, you rather have two kids by a bitch-made nigga uh, or a bitch-made motherfucker because um, this isn't um, race specific, you'd rather have kids by a bitch made motherfucker than to go ahead and um, sever ties with him at all costs. And like, look, um, I, I I know what your father is. I see what he doing, and and I'm sorry. That's where see. Then it becomes that cycle. So you got to be a woman who's like, look, 
this motherfucker is a bitch made motherfucker. I can't fuck with this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and 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 do the Brady family or the Brady bunch it up with a real man um, who wasn't able to find him a, a woman, but he ended up having some kids during the process. That's all right. We're gonna hold it down together. I'm gonna go ahead and give me a real man. I'm gonna show I can hold it down, and we gonna go ahead and, and make sure we don't raise no bitch ass little motherfuckers. Um, so that that's where that comes in. That and, and men, same thing. A lot of times, y'all mama done coddled y'all the whole time, and she done told you everything you ever did was great. She called you her little king. She made sure she she gave you extra food and um and shit like that. She made sure you uh. Uh, 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 she made sure you had all the clothes you need and, and, and whatever, you know, she made sure you had them little fly, little baby pictures. She made sure you had all the jades and all that goofy shit. Um, but when y'all got on them, when y'all had them jades on, y'all got your asses right on public transportation and, uh, y'all was jaying it up. <coughs> Excuse me. So, and that's not to say, you know, that's not to, to say, Hey, yo, financial situations happen. And, you know, we don't we don't lose our wheels and things of that nature because I, I understand that. Don't get me wrong. But if your priority is to be looking fly uh, without having your shit together, that's 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 an irresponsibility train, uh, uh, ir- irresponsibility trait that's being installed in you by your own mother. And you're not seeing that because you're happy with the gifts she's giving you. You see, if she wasn't giving you those gifts, you wouldn't be so happy. If you wasn't so fly, you wouldn't be so happy. But because you so fly and everybody complimenting you because you got this materialistic uh thing going on and you're not being properly gamed up by a man because a woman can't game you up fellas i'm sorry i'm not sorry but i'm sorry i hate to break the bad news to you um but a woman can't game you up it's not possible you understand me it's not possible because who does she get the game from i'm telling you a lot of times this is a cycle a lot of times this is bitter resentment from her father not being there so she's like well fuck it my father wasn't there. His bitch ass father wasn't there. My mama raised me, so I'm going to make sure I raise my son too and make sure he way better than him. And then you sit here and you start calling your child because you want him to have, 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 have. Never learn, 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 learn. Next thing you know, your son grows up in his world and you celebrating him graduating from high school, which is okay. Let's celebrate that. That's a, that's a milestone. That's a milestone. A milestone. Let's make sure we can... I need, Open up your dictionary and look up milestone. That's what that is. That isn't to say all be all. And that's not to say that, you know, high school or college is what's next or whatever the case may be. Everybody's not, uh, everybody doesn't have to be, you know, a scholar. I understand that. But telling somebody that they graduated from high school, they're successful in life, that's not it, bro. What are you successful at? Sometimes these dudes don't even graduate high school and it be their own mama letting them lay there on that couch, not going to school. You ain't got enough discipline to graduate high school, but you think your son going to have enough discipline to do something else? Like what? Y'all so headstrong on your child, on your son, fulfilling your dreams of being a housewife that you like, I'm going to live my housewife fantasies through my son. A lot of times your son can't even have a healthy relationship because you're overbearing. You're overstepping your boundary. You're too involved in your child's business. What exactly business do you need to be involved in when it comes to your child? Your child should come to you and seek counsel. You shouldn't be the person driving your child to the chick house saying, go kick that door in and beat that nigga ass. That shouldn't be your level of involvement in any way, shape, or form. Ever. You understand me? So that that mother-son dynamic is, is a very, very, very tricky one. Um, a lot of times it's extremely hard to recognize on the surface because all you're seeing is how well he's well-mannered or he's treating his mother and this, that, and the third until you get to digging, digging, digging. He's like, this motherfucker ain't shit. This motherfucker is, ain't shit at all. His mom told him if I, if, if he buy me a, 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 a batch of flowers, then he can go do what the fuck he want for the rest of the day. His mama taught him to go ahead and drop me off at work in my car and then go fuck with other bitches. So y- you got to understand that that is a very, very strong possibility. So when you're dealing with this, when you're dealing with a a, a kid who simply just 
seems to be a little too attached to his mother. You gotta that that's raise your eyebrows because if a man isn't brave enough to put his mother in her place, then you need to go ahead and, and start to question that. Not be disrespectful. Not be disrespectful. You don't need to be disrespectful, but you need to be able to put your mother in her place. Like, ma, no, 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 ma, this ain't for you. Hold on, ma, hold on. You need to just, just pump her brakes. You, ain't, you know what I mean? I don't even want to say like it, doing, it ain't got to be in any way disrespectful whatsoever. But you got to be able to have your, your man got to be able to tell his mom to, to tell your mom to pump her brakes. If your man can't do that, then you in a, you in a tricky situation. You're in an extremely, extremely tricky situation. You understand me? So understand that. Understand the signs of it. They understand the signs is is an over attachment to their mother. It's you got to know the difference though. It's not just some damn yo. His it can't be. I don't want no technicalities involved. If a mother is healthy, well being, able to work, able body, things of that nature, and he has an over attachment to her, you got to look at that. You have to look at that. You understand me? You got to look at that. If you notice. He has a sense of excuses. If you say, "Hey, uh, if you say, hey, babe, can you, can you make sure you uh, you go ahead and uh, cut the grass this weekend?" And, and Monday roll around, the grass ain't cut, and you ask, "What happened to you? You know, cutting the grass this weekend?" Oh man, uh, see, what I was, I mean, you know, I, I I was gonna get around to like, you know, simple shit. You ask him simple shit, and then. It don't he he doesn't fall come through on his word and you ask him and he start babbling and coming up with stupid shit. You like, nigga, it's just the grass. If you forgot, you forgot. But I don't need to hear this the Gettysburg address about the fucking grass. You know what I'm saying? Like just be like, dog, knock it out. That's all I ask. Knock the grass out. Take the garbage out. Like simple shit. And he got the Gettysburg address for simple shit. He coming up with. Every excuse under the sun, and you like, dog, it ain't that serious. When you start thinking like that, mm, you might you might be on to something. Uh, hopefully, you can catch that before you have that baby, because once you have that baby, that motherfucker gonna be like, especially if it's a little girl. Oh man, he gonna treat her like he he gonna treat her like you want to be treated. You know what I mean? Then you gonna just be looking at your daughter all resentful, and now you gotta go back to the mother daughter dynamic episode. Um, and if it's not in the archive, I'll upload the motherfucker so y'all can hear that too, because it's important. So, y'all make sure y'all check into that. And again, like I said, man, I'm gonna do a, a, a longer episode on some political stuff tomorrow. I want y'all to stay tuned. I'm gonna release that immediately as soon as it gets done recorded. I appreciate y'all tuning in. And we out, baby. Peace.